This week on Hunt Wicked Close, we're hunting Ghostwater Creek Ranch north of Del Rio, Texas. You're not going to want to miss this hunt. We're after Trophy All Dad. Wicked Close TV is brought to you by Cinema Creek Archery for all your archery needs. Bio Extreme, the only all-in-one odor elimination product. Airwolf Tower Stands, the only fully portable tower blind. McKenzie Mountain Outfitters, for the hunt of a lifetime. Stein Caracal Safaris, for your African adventure. The original Kansas Trophy Whitetails in the heart of Monster Whitetail Country. Family Power Sports for all your power sports needs. And Outdoor Edge Knives for all your game processing needs. That first morning in the stand had us up very, very early, and uh, we were headed down some very dusty caliche roads. We had been in the stand for just a short period of time, and uh, the wind started kicking up. And after the wind came the rain and mist. Although the weather turned on us just a little bit, folks, we still had some animals come in. This barbado was out of range. We couldn't shoot it, but it was definitely on the hit list. And then about 40 minutes later, we had this young all dad walk right by the blind. We, uh, we hunted this morning. It was a little colder than what we expected, and we had a small mist come in, but uh, we had some Barbado rams come in, and we had a couple of small Audad. Uh, none were shooters. Well, we had a little um, little Barbado that we could have taken, but uh, a male, no horns, uh, but he never gave me a shot. So um, we're going to come back and go grab some breakfast, and we're going to come back out and sit through some mist and some cold and uh, hopefully take some animals. Built by outdoorsmen for outdoors, Airwolf's Whitetail Predator Series offers the ideal tower stand solution for outfitters, landowners, and the individual hunter. Airwolf Tower Stand, presenting outdoorsmen the opportunity to hunt the harshest climates and conditions in search of that trophy of a lifetime. Hey folks, whenever the Hunt Wicked Close crew has archery problems, we go to Cinnamon Creek Archery. And with over 250 bows to choose from, and an indoor 20 yard broadhead range, and an indoor 20 yard field point range, and a 20 and 30 yard archery arena. For all your archery needs folks, 
Check them out on the internet, cinnamoncreekranch.com. You want to know how we get wicked close to all the animals that we hunt? It's called BioExtreme. BioExtreme is the only all-in-one odor elimination product in the hunting industry today. BioExtreme kills human odor on contact and works for hours on the stand. Works in the washing machine, works in the shower, all from one bottle. Let BioExtreme save you money and time. Check them out, bioextreme.net. I promise you will not be disappointed. Let Stein Karakau Safaris be your next African adventure. Located in the northwest province of South Africa, with five-star living and dining accommodations, in a history as rich as a dark continent can provide, you will hunt world-class SCI African game with an experienced and professional hunting staff that cannot be matched. If you are looking for an African adventure of a lifetime, contact Stein Karakau Safaris and experience where Hunt Wicked Close hunts African game. This segment of Hunt Wicked Close TV is brought to you by Family Power Sports. Okay, we were headed back to the lodge to grab some breakfast and um, we drove down into this canyon and we spotted some Barbado rams and um, I left my 308 back at the lodge so uh, Doug's got his 270 that I'm going to try and whack them with and uh, wish me luck. Okay, that one that's broadside is okay. Oh my gosh, I just shot at a Barbado. All right, I'm fixing my plate. Um, Charlie and John stayed back and uh, made us breakfast. So we're going to get some food and then um, afterwards we're going to go collect our rams. So don't go anywhere. Hunt with you close, we'll be right back. Well, folks, we finished breakfast and we headed out to go and, and recover Rachel's ram. We had to climb about 500 feet up the side of this mountain and uh, we got up there and it was a really nice ram that Rachel took. She was very, very happy with that harvest. But on the way back to the lodge, our guide Doug did some glassing on the side of these mountains and he found another Barbado ram that was on the hit list. Luckily, after breakfast, we grabbed a 308 and had it with us. So it was my turn to send one downrange at 514 yards. Over. Boom. Uh, rolling. He's rolling. <laughs> now all I see is a white belly. <laughs> uh, folks, I'm telling you what. <clears throat> hunt Wicked Close is normally known for its archery. Okay, we like to take the hunt wicked close to the animal, but when we're in canyons like this at Ghost Water, <laughs> we take wicked close to them by 308. Uh, Y'all saw that's 514 yards uh, with a pretty good crosswind. And we got a we got another coal ram on the ground. I love shooting like this. Do whatever you want out here at this ranch, folks. It's absolutely amazing. They will cater to you any way you want. Long range, short range, archery, rifle, black powder. They'll probably even let you bring your pistol out here, folks. Come see them. Look them up on the web. Look them up on their, on their website. We'll have that for you a little bit later on in the show.
book you a hunt. You will not be disappointed here, I promise you, folks. We've got a long ways to drive to go get this goat because I've been shot about a quarter of a mile. But this one with your close TV, folks, y'all don't go nowhere. Brother, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Folks, if y'all want to know more about Ghostwater Creek Ranch, we're going to have their information on at the end of this show. Uh, how you can get in contact with them, their websites. Uh, everything there is that you need to know on how to get a hold of these folks, we're going to have available to you. And I'm telling you right now, you got to book a hunt with these folks. You got to. This is fun. This is absolutely fun. Well, Rachel and I both had our Barbados down, and that afternoon found us in a stand, folks, completely surrounded by all dad sheep. Ghostwater Creek Ranch. We have been watching these animals for hours and I had a nice one finally present me a shot. Doug here, high five me. That was awesome. We did a really good job and uh, I couldn't be more pleased. Um, we're going to give them some time to lay down. Well, we've been tracking this uh, odd dad that I hit earlier about an hour ago and um, we've run out a lot so we've decided that we're just going to go ahead and just back out, go back to camp, grab some dinner, and we'll just come back in the morning which is a good thing because that means I get to sleep in. So we're going to come back in the morning and Doug's going to keep the blood trail going as well. He's, he's done a really fine job. So y'all stay with us because when, when we come back, I'm going to have a big Audad in my hands. Well, we're headed back out to the last track we had in my Audad. We ran out a lot, so we decided just to go ahead and come on back in and wait till the next morning. So we're up, we've had our coffee, and we're getting ready to head back out and get that Audad in my hands. I've got blood right here. And I see some really good blood right in there. Broken limb over there. Where he went through. Okay. Lots of blood right there on the mucus. Okay. All right, if you'll go around that way and see if we can oh, pick good it. eyes. Okay. Got blood right there. All right. Okay. Okay. Got some right here on this rock. Oh, right here. Okay. I see my arrow right there. My aw dad is right there. Oh, I was so worried. Last night, I wasn't worried. Oh, I just, when we when we went back and saw the shot, I knew I made a good shot. And again, when you're, not when you're in doubt, but when you lose light and you just come to a point where you, the animal's already gone 150 yards, you just want to back out, go back to camp, get some sleep, come back the next morning. And that's what we did. We had uh, marked our spot with some paper towel, and Charlie Good Eyes here found the, found it this morning. And now we've got the animal on the ground. Yes. Now, if we can maneuver through these rocks. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. I'll say he's expired. <laughs> okay. Last couple of days, Ken and I have been out here at Ghostwater Creek Ranch, um, namely coming out here for some odd dad and had a really nice one come out in front of me yesterday morning and uh, I schwacked him. He's, he's down on the ground. Um, but wanted to let you know, here at Ghostwater Creek, it's free range. The, these animals, this is just, this is just their home. Um, they've got Barbado Ram, they've got some Spanish goats, um, and it's not an easy task to get these in and, and take a shot, and especially for a female to get a shot on an animal this big, it's tough. So we did it. We've had a great time here at Ghostwater Creek. I want to thank Doug, my God. He's done a great job working with us and putting up with me. So <laughs> come out to Ghostwater Creek and meet, meet the gang out here. Hey, folks. I hope you enjoyed that footage from Ghostwater Creek Ranch. Rachel and I had a blast while we were down there. You need to book a hunt with them, folks. I promise you won't be disappointed. 
now are off to Africa with Wayne and Brooks, and they're going after Red Heart of Beast. We already know the place to go for monster free-ranging whitetails 